Hi guys! Welcome back. It's November. So it's time for Thanksgiving and eating all kinds of food and, and doing all that fun stuff. I love Thanksgiving. I stress and freak out about Thanksgiving every year and the cooking part of the day is ridiculous and makes me crazy and I usually cry but I like it a lot. So we're gonna start we're gonna do a few like a little Thanksgiving series and and have different thing each week leading up to Thanksgiving. So we're gonna start with appetizers. So we're gonna make one appetizer because really I've already shown you how to make a cheese ball and jalapeno poppers and things like that. So if you look in my other videos that you find down there in the list, um, you will, you'll find appetizers. So I'm going to make something that I have never made before. So we're going to do this together. If I fail, you are going you're, you're gonna see it like I'm not gonna I don't have an extra one by magic television in the oven so we're gonna make a cornucopia out of crescent bowls my mom made one of these one year when I was little and that is the only time I've ever seen it done I think she invented the crescent roll cornucopia probably like I invented the pork grinds as breading and the buffalo chicken wontons, but whatever. So we are going to start this crescent roll cornucopia. I'm a little nervous about it, to be honest with you, because, well, because I can't see you very well, and I don't know what's going to happen. First, we're going to open these crescent rolls. I'm also pretty bad at this. Are crescent rolls supposed to be this hard? Like seriously. This is why I always buy the, the um, mm, they're really good, the brand, the Sister Schubert's yeast rolls, cause you just take those out of the bag and throw them on a pan stick in the oven. It's not all labor intensive like this. <laughs> So we are already starting off failing. I hope you guys share this video with your friends because this is gonna, this is the one that's gonna send me to fame. It's this video. I can feel it. All right. Well, that, was, that one wasn't too hard, those pieces. I don't know how many cans we're gonna need either, so we have three. Um, judging by how I'm doing here, we may need an extra can, but. All right, so I'm gonna this out of the way. So I made this nifty little cornucopia shape out of aluminum foil. I'm also lying, Hitch made this nifty little cornucopia shape out of aluminum foil, but I stuffed it. So, so we're going to take it and give it a little spray with our baking spray here. Make sure nothing sticks to it. And we're just going to start wrapping. We're going to start here at the tail and we're going to start wrapping this crescent roll dough around the shape we made here and then I have uh, an egg wash I have two eggs just to make sure I have enough but I have an egg wash just some egg and water whisked up to glue my pieces together uh, at the seams. See, I've already missed a big spot here. I guess if I turn it, probably be easier to turn the cornucopia as I go, right? So 
sorry, I'm gonna brush a little bit of the egg wash there. Stick it to that end. And then we're gonna take our next piece. I bet that this would be easier if, oh goodness, if you used bread sticks instead of crescent rolls. Where is, there it is. Let's put a little egg wash on the next one so that it can stick to the other one. My mom was like super, my mom was extra. She was very extra. <laughs> and she probably, I don't remember exactly, but she probably did not have this much trouble with her cornucopia. Really the hardest part of this for me anyway, seems to be making sure that you're not leaving any, I'm not leaving any gaps in it as I wrap the dough around. But I also think, wait, which way, where's the bottom? Oh, that's the bottom. I think for the size of our cornucopia, we only will need this one can. Well, we're going to have to open the other can because we got to get fancy around the edge there. As the dough is kind of getting warm, it's sticking to the baking sheet. I would definitely use breadsticks, guys. If you're gonna do this, get a can of breadsticks, not crescent rolls. It's gonna have all these little pieces of dough stuck on it where the foil is sticking through and I tried to hide it. But if you're a VIP and you take this corn coffee, it's your family Thanksgiving and they are not amazed and impressed at what a great job you did, get a new family. Do you have anything that you make or your family makes for Thanksgiving that's, that's all fancy and extra like this that you just love? Let me know what it is. Leave it in the comments. What's your favorite? What is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Your favorite thing to have on Thanksgiving? I think mine's just turkey. Okay, so Hitch just had a great idea. What we should have done was unroll the crescent rolls into a flat sheet, lay them on the pan, and then roll it up around the cornucopia mold. And that makes a lot more sense than what I'm doing here. We're gonna take the rest of these crescent rolls here. Cause cornucopia has a, you know, has a nice edge around the outside. I've only ever seen the one that my mom made in like pictures, wicker ones, but they always have a little, usually it's braided. I'm not trying to braid. So we are just gonna kinda take our crescent roll dough here, roll it. I don't know what it looks like, but I think it looks pretty. Here, and then we're gonna take this. Now that we've got it here, we're gonna brush the whole thing with food glue, with the egg wash, so that it gets that kind of nice golden brown and it looks like a brown cornucopia. So, I learned here 
that there were easier ways we could have done this. We could have used breadstick dough. We could have just flattened out the crescent roll dough and rolled it around the cornucopia mold. That would have been easier. We could have just bought the frozen dinner rolls from the grocery store, threw them on a pan and put them in the oven. That would have been the easiest. But we need to do and try things to see if we can, I guess. But like I said, if I fail, you guys were gonna you guys were gonna watch me do it. So here we go. Now we are gonna put this in a 375 degree oven for I'm hoping about 15 minutes, but when it comes out, I'll let you know how long it took. All right, so our tail is a little crooked. It is stuck to the pan. So let's see what we can do here. I don't know how it looks though. Does it look pretty for the most part? <laughs> it feels like it's solid and together. it's too bad like I said there were easier ways to do it use the breadsticks or use the um, the dough all the way rolled out so we'll take our pieces of foil here that we stuffed up in it to keep it open you gotta use a lot of foil for this too by the way and let's see what of this we can get out so we can see the inside. Oh, oh, it's hot. There we go, that all came out nice. All right. I don't know, guys, I don't think it's too bad. I was really, um, I was really bummed about this and sad because I thought it was gonna be terrible and I was gonna look stupid in front of all of you. But, I'd say not too shabby for a blind girl. So, we're gonna put it on a fancy little plate that we got here. Oh, oh, it broke. Oh. Alright, so you can put whatever kind of fun little finger foods you want in your cornucopia. I'm gonna put some broccoli here. We just got some little dipping things. Uh, so little veggies cut up. Some pepperonis. Whatever you want to put in your cornucopia. Fruits and veggies. I think that's what traditionally went in a cornucopia is like the gourds and the veggies and all of those things that were grown in the harvest that year. Do I have any idea what a cornucopia actually is? Like am I completely wrong? I don't know. And then we got some summer sausage and some pepperoni cut up. I didn't have any dip. I thought I did, but I didn't. Um, so you could absolutely, you know, you want to put some dip with it. Get one of those tubs of ranch dip or spinach dip or something and put that on your on your plate and make it pretty. I try not to get it inside the cornucopia too much because it's still warm. 
but you would want to fill this to the brim. So, all right, it wasn't too bad. I broke it, but that's okay. We learned for next time. I taught all of you a valuable lesson in cornucopia making, not to do it this way, but you should definitely do it. I think if you take this super awesome crescent roll cornucopia, we got some grapes over here too, sorry. Super awesome crescent roll cornucopia to your family's Thanksgiving, they are going to be amazed. So definitely make it, just learn from my mistakes. So that's it for appetizers. We're gonna do sides and desserts next, I think. So keep watching for that. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. Hit up our Instagram, at Blind Girl Cooks. I've got all of the recipes from every episode on Instagram, and then they're also on Facebook too. Uh, but I have been spending my days on Instagram, so that's where I'm at. If there's a recipe or something that you want to see me make or see me mess up, send me a DM and let me know what that is. Mm, take pictures of your cornucopias and tag me in them because I want to see how much better yours were than mine. So that is it. That's all I have today. I will see you guys next time.